Breaking news tonight, Natalie Holloway, prime murder suspect, Jorn Vandersloot, pleads guilty to murder. That's right. In the last hours, the pampered playboy, judge's son, Jorn Vandersloot, taken from an armed vehicle into court amidst a mob of onlookers in court. Vandersloot looking bored and unaffected, anything but afraid and remorseful. But bottom line, Jorn Vandersloot admits what many of us have suspected all along. He is a cold-blooded killer. You can see it. Bruises all across her face, her neck, scratches all around her neck, her body rigid. All of her clothing, all of his clothing, drenched in blood. As you will recall, he tried to cross the border, did cross the border with a suitcase full of bloody articles and the money he stole from Stephanie Tassiana Flores. Out to the line, Sarah in Georgia. Thank you for calling. Dear, what's your question? Yes, ma'am. I just, I love you, Nancy. I watched you on Dancing with the Stars. You were so beautiful, and I always voted for y'all. But you. my question is, um, if he's put, pleaded guilty to the murder of Natalie Holloway, is the United States going to indict him on murder charges? You know what? I'm sorry, Sarah, you dropped out. What was your question? I was asking if Jorn Vandersloot pleaded guilty to the murder of Natalie Holloway, is the United States going to indict him on murder charges? Good question. Unleash the lawyers. Meg Strickler, international criminal defense attorney. Peter Odom, defense attorney, Atlanta. Lorna Owens, international criminal defense attorney, joining us out of Miami. First to you, Meg Strickler, the U.S. indict Jorn Vandersloot for murder. Weigh in. I don't think they're going to indict him for murder, but they're going to get him uh, indicted for extortion, and they're going to mm -hmm. extradite him for that charge. The murder case happened in Aruba, and then the other one happened in Peru, so we don't have any jurisdiction for that. But we're going to get a clause in him with respect to the extortion case, and it'll happen now after Friday. Once he's sentenced, we will put in the motion to get him over here to deal with the case on the extortion case and get him some prison time to serve after he gets out of Peru. Lorna? Yes. Go ahead. There's, you know, there's a little known law that could possibly allow America to indict him for murder because Natalie Holliday, Holloway was a United States citizen. But I do agree. I don't think that's the way it's going to play out. It's going to play out. He's going to serve his time and then gets in, uh, extradited here. Peter Odom, we're seeing that little-known law Lauren Owens referred to in place right now in Alabama. The diving death near Australia is going to be prosecuted in Alabama. So right. what do you make, though, Peter, if the U.S. doesn't prosecute him for murder because neither of the murders happened in the U.S., right. we can prosecute him for uh, trying to basically blackmail Natalie's family. Well, there's actually a better chance that we'll extradite him for extortion than for murder. Generally, extortion doesn't work for cases where there's a, where there's a possible uh, life without parole or death penalty sentence. Extortion doesn't carry such a sentence, so it's likely that we will invoke the treaty and extradite him. You're right, Peter. I think you're right on that one. Joining me now... Natalie's father, Dave Holloway, you probably knew before all of us that this guilty plea to murder was going down. The prime suspect in the murder of Natalie, Natalie Holloway, Alabama beauty and honor student there on her senior trip. Dave, reaction to the guilty plea in court just hours ago? Nancy, I was just happy to see that the uh, Flores family finally got justice. I just hope that on Friday that he gets the proper sentence that he deserves. To Gene Casares and Jane Velez Mitchell joining us. The two of you see Vandersloot yawning and laughing in court. What about it, Jane? Well, I think that this was all highly orchestrated and it was a big farce. And he knew exactly what was going to happen when he walked into court and there was some kind of behind the scenes deal.